my video of how to add effects from virtual DJ to your MacBook Pro so um, I've been getting a lot of emails about sending out effects to people's emails so which like I said before is getting overwhelming so I'll do my best to help you guys out again um, with the new um, OSX update a uh, software update so hopefully my browser looks like yours but I'll get you guys close as possible to getting everything um, done okay so the first thing we're gonna start with this is real easy um, I'm trying to stick to the point so one of the first things we're gonna do is um, open up your Safari and um, you wanna log into virtualdj.com now this is a free service so you can set up a free account and um, should be any problems there so once you get set up and you got your account set up um, we're gonna start downloading some effects so what you want to do is go to downloads it's right here and you want to go to plugins and as you can see we have different things you can download now most of these items are free but if your controller doesn't support these different effects or skins and you haven't paid for the full version um, you're not going to be able to get everything but most of the things that I'm downloading is pretty much free so I'm going to be doing effects so click on effects okay now once you get in effects you're going to notice a um, couple things here's your different download tabs you got skins Again, most of these skins are, um, they're free, but most of them are not supported if you don't have the license. And depends if you can get a license online, then you're good to go. It's just the registration key. But again, as controllers, if you're trying to set up your controller to work specifically with Virtual DJ, there's a controller for you. So find your controller and it's a free download. But we're only talking about effects today. So let's click on effects. And once you get into the effects screen, there's pretty much a lot of effects. But depending on what platform you have, since we're talking about Max, make sure you go to platform. And you're going to click on all. And click on Mac. And this is going to bring up all the Mac virtual DJ effects I'm not gonna bring up any PC or anything like that alright I've downloaded a couple already but I'll let you guys see some of the effects I know a lot of these DJs on here already know what the effects sound like but there's some guys that don't know what they sound like so I'm just gonna download a couple things and you know if you like it you know you can download it yourself um, Again, my first video was on the echo out effect. Most guys said that's not the effect they were looking for. So, again, these are all free downloads, so you can find your download. So, what you want to do is we're going to go ahead and download this flange loop out effect. And we're going to also listen to this effect and see what it does in the um, system. So, I'm going to just click on it. And once I click on that, it brings me to the add on screen. Now, I know we switched over to Mac platform, but sometimes it's still going to show each download um, disk. So let's click on your um, download for Mac. You're just going to click on that. Now, again, I've already downloaded this already, but once you download it, it should go right up here. Show downloads. Now, you can find your download easy because once you click on show downloads, all of your downloaded material this is where you find your material so like just now I just downloaded the flange loop out I'm gonna click on that now on my first video I said you can just drag that to your desktop and it's up to you but let's just do it that way for the beginners so I'm just gonna download that straight to my desktop I'll just move it and it's there now you want to go to finder now we're going to go to finder so I'm bringing this down we're going to go to finder which is the little smiley square face 
And once you got your finder up, right here, I'm not sure how you guys have your setup. Mine is out of order, but you want to go to your name. So find your name, which is the little house. You got the different features here. Uh, sorry. Um, find your name. And once you find your name, which is the little house, you want to go to documents. Okay. Now, once you go to documents, depending on how your setup is, we can arrange that by name. And I put this in alphabetical order. And I'm going to scroll down until I find my virtual DJ folder, which is here at the bottom. V. Now, once you have your virtual DJ folder, again, my setup is different, but everybody should be able to find their way through. So, virtual DJ, scroll over here, and we're going to look for that folder that says plugins. I'm going to click on plugins, and then we're going to go to sound effects. Now, this is how you update your virtual DJ um, interface. If you want to add sound effects, video effects, video transitions, you do it right here. Um, so, let's go to sound effects. Now, I don't have a lot of sound effects because I have several virtual DJ programs and several DJ programs, but I'm just doing a tutorial. So... What you want to do next is you want to find that file that you just paste onto your desktop. And all you're going to do is just click on it and move it. Just stick it anywhere in here. It doesn't matter. I have already have a copy, so I'm just going to replace that one. But for first-time users, you're only going to have one. So now you have your effects in here. So we're just going to close this down and you want to open up your virtual DJ. Now, here's another tip. If your virtual DJ is already open and you just attempted this transfer, it's not going to show up unless you close out and go back in. Now, I already had it open because I already had the file. So I'm going to go to virtual DJ. So make sure you open that. Now, we're in the program. And we want to see that um, effect that we just placed in here. And it should be. And what you want to do is hit effects and just find the um, effect that you just stuck in there. Now, as you can see, I've been putting a couple of effects in here a couple minutes ago. There's hundreds of effects. But we're going to stick to the flange loop out. Um, so we want to see what this effect sounds like. So just play a quick song. I know it may not be a good choice of music, but this happened to be what I had up at the present time. Ace Hood. So the whole thing of this effect right here, here it is. You just press the little effect button. And there it is. It flanged and looped me out of the song. Now, I'm not going to go to a tutorial on how to loop out of songs, but that it, there it was. And you can just press it again. Now, a lot of guys are asking me to send them different loops, different effects. I've showed you how to do it, but if I can email you guys and I have time, I will, I will send the file to you. Um, again, there's your file. And that's what it sounds like. It's a pretty good effect. And there it is. So, once again, if you guys have any questions, hit me up. Um, this is the new video. Um, I'll be updating more if someone runs into another problem. I'll try to help you guys out. But I hope this works. Until then, peace out.